Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now I'm always trying to find ways to upgrade my setup here at home and I think I found the ultimate solution. This is the DB Power LED projector and it's actually really good. Now when I was first sent over this projector, my first thoughts were, wow, this is actually quite a small and compact device. You'd have no trouble getting a bag for this and taking it around with you. So if you're going away somewhere, for instance, and you do want a really awesome experience with actually watching some content, then this is a great way to go. As you can see here, there's loads of vents on the bottom of the actual projector and a massive one on the side for really good power and heat management, as this thing can get quite warm and also quite loud, which is definitely something to take into account. Now in general the actual projector itself is really well built, now it is all plastic but it's actually quite sturdy and I've not had really any issues and I did actually drop it from my desk when I was testing it and there's no cracks, no visible damage so in my opinion it's actually held up quite well over time and for something that's usually quite static you're not really going to have any problems. It's got a twist screw on the bottom as you can see here to give you a really nice angle on the actual projector itself but you can also mount this to a ceiling if you really want to. And and again you can invert and control everything that you need to to have the perfect viewing experience. Now on the top you've got a really awesome thing here which lets you adjust the things like focus and also the keystone. Focus just does what it says and puts the actual video in focus and keystones adjust the video ever so slightly up and down at the top or bottom to get that perfect picture experience. In terms of ports and I.O., you've got a power adapter on the back, which I wish was maybe micro USB, but it's not, unfortunately. You've got a VGA port and also an IR blast on the back of the device. And you've got the main ports just here as well. You've got an HDMI in, USB in and out, an SD card reader, AV for audio, and also a headphone jack as well. Now on the top of the device or the bottom, depending on how you orient it, you do have all of the controls that you need to actually control the projector itself and some information as well just to the right of that but if you don't want to use those controls you do have a built-in remote control which has some really awesome functionality and just in general allows you to interact with the projector from a little bit further away and in my opinion that's kind of what I would actually do in terms of the speakers on the projector they are really good but if you are listening to it in more of a really cinema environment then I'd recommend plugging in some external speakers to get the full experience and maybe to drown out the sound of the projector itself. But if you're like me, the main thing you want to know is exactly how this thing looks. Now with 1080p and picture sizes that go from 32 inches up to 176 inches, I had really high hopes and I tested it in a variety of ways and these are my opinions. Now with Comic Con happening at the moment there is a bunch of trailers that I've used to test this on, the first one being Thor Ragnarok. Now in my office I couldn't get it far enough away to get a really wide screen so I'm working at the moment with around 38 or so inches on the wall just behind my desk here but in general as you can see here it looks really nice. Now don't get me wrong this isn't going to be as crisp as a 1080p TV or in general maybe your phone for instance but in terms of a viewing experience it's really awesome. Now I wouldn't necessarily say that I could sit and watch maybe an entire movie but if you did want to maybe watch some TV shows or maybe a movie if you are out and about or on holiday for instance then this is a really great option as you can just carry it with you plug in what you need and you're ready to go. One thing that I love is that you can just hook up something via HDMI so as I did here I just plugged in my MacBook Pro and I was ready to go. It was mirroring exactly what I was seeing on my screen. There was no delay whatsoever and to be honest the built-in speakers did a okay job in terms of replicating the sound. Now this isn't going to give you cinema quality surround sound from the actual projector itself. I would definitely recommend plugging in speakers if you are going to be using this more full time. But the speaker's done a pretty good job in terms of representing what I was seeing on the screen. There is maybe a bit of lack in terms of bass. But in terms of the volume this thing goes extremely loud. And if you want to use it for maybe watching music videos or in general casting your screen using Spotify for instance. Then it's going to be okay for that sort of scenario. Now the actual picture quality itself was actually quite quite good so again I was doing this exactly from my MacBook so I was doing a 1080p video and as you can see here it's actually quite crisp and was better than what I was expecting now again it's not the best picture quality in the world 
But for something like this, and especially at this price point, I think it's a really great option. So after the Marvel trailer, I moved on to DC's new Justice League trailer, and this is where the projector didn't necessarily perform as well as I wanted it to. It's extremely dark in this sort of situation, and don't get me wrong, I know that the actual Justice League trailer is a very dark and moody trailer, but for me, it wasn't necessarily the best in terms of colour recreation. As I punch in here a little bit, you can see that it is really good in terms of saturation and colour, but it is maybe a little bit too dark, maybe even darker than I wanted it to be. Now don't get me wrong, if you are watching this in a pitch black room, I'm sure it's going to look fine, but if you've got even the slightest bit of light like I do here, it's going to really pick up on that and it isn't going to be as dark as you need it to be. Moving in a little bit more, you can see here in terms of the actual way that the actual picture looks, and again, it's fine, there's no problems with the picture, it's sharp enough and it's exactly what you need it to be, but again, it's not going to beat out anything like a 1080p TV, or maybe some other projectors that are a little bit more, but keep in mind guys that this for me is a budget projector and for the actual money that you're paying it gives a really good picture so as you can see here with a quick example of playing Uncharted 4 with the PlayStation 4 plugged into the projector, you can see here that you do need to turn out all of the lights to get the best picture experience, even the smaller light in the bottom right hand corner. Now for gaming, I would say that this is a really great option. Again, because you are plugging it in via the HDMI, there's not really any input lag or anything like that at all, but if you are playing something, maybe a first person shooter or a competitive online game like Call of Duty for example, then you really need that pinpoint precision and pixel peeping to see exactly what you're aiming at for instance so it's maybe not the best experience for that but if you wanted to play Uncharted 4 on a 170 inch TV this is definitely the cheapest option that you've got. So as you can see there from those brief examples, this is a really good projector, but it's kind of hard to get across on video exactly how things are meant to look in the real world. Now for me, the projector itself is really good, but you do need to kind of see it for yourself to actually see the picture quality and see if it is something that you really want to use in the future. Now DB Power are hooking you guys up with a really awesome discount code which is going to be linked in the description down below which is actually going to give you 20% off the already discounted price of this projector. So when you take into account that price, this is definitely a really awesome product and it's maybe something that you could buy for someone as a present for example or just for personal use if you do want to have a really large screen but you can't afford to spend thousands of pounds on a new HD or 4K TV, this is a great option. So that is going to do it guys for this video. Now as I mentioned, the projector itself is linked in the description down below along with that coupon code to get you 20% off, so I definitely recommend checking it out. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you've got any questions or comments about this projector or anything else on the channel, let me know in the comments section or you can hit me up on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. For more great content in the future, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael and I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget guys, if you want to be one of the first people to see this video or future videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video.